to the edge, and by golly, there's some things that are kind of interesting. Uh, people who do the right thing is uh, pretty interesting. You'll gratify some people and astonish the rest. And the most inter interesting information that comes from children, it always does, but they tell all they know and then they stop. But some people keep on talking and talk themselves into corners, such as our president. And I think he's getting to look rather foolish these days, but whether he looks foolish or not, if Joe Biden decides to choose a woman candidate, a black woman candidate, is that enough to push, push him over the top? Who, who might that be? Well, we've heard different candidates, and it's probably going to be one of three black women, if it's a woman, that ends up running against Trump and, and Pence. It's going to be Michelle Obama, maybe, and a winner there. It's going to be Camilla Harris, maybe, maybe not a winner. Or it's going to be Oprah, a total frigging winner, undoubtedly a winner, with no axe to grind, totally popular, and that is what Trump has brought out. Celebrity means a great deal, and that is what Oprah is. That is what Trump is. He's fed off of celebrity. People respond to celebrity more than politicians. So Oprah is the real dinger in this thing. Even if Biden is this presidential candidate and he chooses to be vice president, it's an unbelievable victory uh, and a loss for Trump. His celebrity is not anywhere near as great as Oprah's celebrity. And she's also a multi-billionaire. Properly, truly, accurately a billionaire. Not a fake billionaire, not a maybe billionaire, not a I can't show my tax records billionaire. None of that. Holy cow. Well, nonetheless, because Republican women in the South are voting for Democrats, remember that, folks, three states, Republican women voted Democratic governors in office just some months ago. You think the Republican women are changing to vote for Trump? Are you kidding? The villages all know that that's not happening, and those people in the villages for sure are saying, to their wives, are you kidding me? You're going to vote against the Republican? You're going to you're going to vote for the Democrat? There's going to be mass slaughter among women of Republican sort. There has going to be they're going to be threatening them with their lives. There are going to be dr drunken orgies about beating wives that are Republican women. I thought you were a, you're a traitor. They're going to be yelling, being thrown off the rooftops. It's going to be it's going to be a disaster. And, and every state after state, poor, poor Republican women, <laughs> they just don't, they'll, be, they'll be running for their lives to get away from their angry husbands who said, she's going to vote her else. She's going to vote her else. I'm, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I, I didn't bring her from the Philippines for nothing. <laughs> She may be a Stepford wife, but boy, I'm going to step all over her. I turn her pee and I, 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 I turn her motor on, or I turn her motor off. She says that about me all the time. You turn me on, you turn me off. It's up to you, honey. So those ball games are over. They were long ago over, but it's going to show itself as time wears on. But if over becomes a Democratic vice presidential candidate, it's quite easy to see her becoming the president. She's the president of the daytime shows to all women in every role. No one sees him is incapable of running the country. So she's a, a real strong uh, dark horse, to put it mildly, as is Michelle, a dark horse. And of course, Kamala Harris, not so dark horse. So you have these people that are in the running. And of course, you don't know what's going to come, but if the fear it gets great enough and the orange man, his, his peel, his orange peel will start coming off and he won't know what to do with himself. He'll be slipping and sliding 
uh, not holding on to very much. And Melania will slap his hands away in, uh, on camera again. Um, and she'll, she'll say, Melania will announce, I'm voting for Oprah. I want Oprah. And I'm Melania Trump. I want my husband to step away from this campaign and quit this nonsense. In any event, <laughs> folks, consider those scenarios as real as possibility. You know, apple pie and all of that. Aunt Jemima's not around to make your apple pie anymore, <laughs> but Oprah is. So here you go. Happy New Year. Happy New President. Oprah. Ba 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 ba.